All right, so I just found a whole bunch of these Wade Limsies. Um, All right, today I am at Captain's Treasure in Clifton Park, New York. Um, I haven't been here in a while, so they should have some new stuff, and I'm hoping it is half off day for the hard goods. Let's get inside and see what we can find to resell. It is so nice out. What is the date today? Oh, it is half off. Okay. Let's start where I always start. <laughs> it's the hobbyist lady. Um, here's some pottery. BB. Um, that's just like a school project. Hey, what's this down here? That is Metco. A little doggy. Not sure if there's too much resale value in that. Oh, look down here. Looks like USA, California. It'll be $1.50. Ooh, I'm gonna get that. All right, you gotta look at this vase. FTD. Oh, what about this perfume? Ooh, I like that. A dollar fifty, I'm getting that. That's beautiful. Okay. And then I see an angel. November and petal is broken. Man. Nope, I'm gonna leave it. It's a resin. Oh, that's a Lennox for five dollars. Sold. All right, I gotta make room. All right, I had to get a cart. <laughs> oh, here's all the weeping willow. Now I have twenty-five. I feel like McCoy made some of this before. It's called something else now, The Weeping Willow. $25 or... Yeah, 25 that's too much for that. Oh, here's an ashtray. Great Britain, 50 cents. Oh wait, what about this pewter? There's no markings on it. I keep, I feel like I keep looking at that. Looks like a made in Japan. That's all right. Um, anything in the crystal? We usually find Waterford here. <laughs> no. Oh no, wait, here is a metal flower candle holder. It says Pacific Rim, so it's handmade. Um, it'll only be $4, I'm gonna get that. I wish it was Lucite, but... Any glassy babies up here? It's pretty party light. Let's see what these are. There's a child. Oh, I never heard of that. This looks like the Fastoria. Is it crystal? No. Um, how much are those? Um, Three dollars each. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not sure about those. I do like them. Some rubber grapes. I actually don't know how much these resell for. I know to look for the lucite. I don't know about the rubber. I've never seen this before. Hmm. Let's see if there's anything in the mugs. Looking for pottery mugs. 
Um, it's a turtle. What is that? It's a teapot. Huh. Um, nothing's really popping out. Anything down here? Coffee pots, sugars, and creamers. It looks like um, a restaurant wear. King's Arm Tavern, Williamsburg, Virginia. 50 cents. Let me take a look at this. I feel like it's Portugal. I'm surprised no markings. Either Portugal or Italian. All right. A lot of clear glass here. You see that one? This one at first I thought was Waterford. Okay. I found this little uh, girl. Of course the petals are broken. I didn't see that. Something man. Okay, put that back. I'll put it up there. No. I looked through the Pyrex, all of the gold is worn off. So I'm gonna leave those. That looks like Blue Ridge. Oh, Stingle. For $2. Um, it's just a cherry pattern. Eh. This big pewter bowl is Lennox. <gasps> For two fifty, dollars it has um, dragonflies on it. I really wanted to look at this underneath without breaking it. Hey, 50 cents. Ooh, look at this pattern back here. That's different. I, I think that's newer though. How much are you? This over here looks like it would be USA. I don't know what these are. Um, for soup, maybe? Maybe a dollar each. Let's take a look at the bottom again. USA 18. Hmm. Should I get them? I don't know about that green. Totally past this teapot. Let me see what that says on the bottom. Oh, it's Gorham Pewter. I wonder if that is Bakelite. Oh, I don't think it is. Um, one way to tell is to rub it with your finger and the heat interacts with the chemical and it smells like ammonia. So let's try it. I'm gonna rub, 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 rub. Rub it, rub it, rub. No, no smell. But how much, whoops, how much is that? $60, okay, never mind. $8. There's Gobble and Hummel. Hey, here's that music box, Angel. The one we had, it broke. How much is that? It'll be five dollars. It comes with a certificate. All right, let's try it out. Hold on. All right, it works, and all the wings are there. No damage. So I'm gonna get that. Yes. All right, let's see if there's anything else. I usually, sk I've been skipping over. It's China, Japan. What about these dishes? They're kind of neat. Victoria. How much are they? Two fifty each. That is definitely different, and I'm gonna get them. It'd be five dollars for the pair. Jack and Jill. Oh, I love it. All right, I'm gonna put this back. I didn't realize there was a lot of paint loss and some chipping on the base, so I'll put that back. Someone will buy it for their house. All right, I want to see. 
this picture. Oh, there we go. Royal Albert, $20. So it'll be 10 And what about these Asian ladies? I feel like they've looked at them before. Made in China, $100. Holy moly. I mean, they are nice. I don't know. $100, nice. That's Lennox. For five. Eh. I mean, is that an older mark? Lennox USA. So it is older. I know. I think I'm going to get it because it is an older mark and a little bit different. It's only $5. I feel like I could get at least 20 So I'm going to get that. All right, so I just found a whole bunch of these Wade Limsies. Um, they have more, but I'm not going to get all of them. They are a dollar each. So I'll show everybody which ones I'm getting. I picked out all the weird and different ones. And of course, the cats will be on the sale. Polar bear, this will be good for graduation, which is coming up. I'm not sure. Oh, it's a, a weight champion, man. Lifting weights. <laughs> so that one is different. The jaguars and the lions. So I'm going to get these. How many are there? Three. It'll be six dollars. Let me take a look at this gas. Is that Avon? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Avon. That's kind of cool. It's different. I wish that would come back and be worth some money. I mean, it's worth money, but not too much. Maybe I should get it and hold on to it. Nah, I don't have enough room. Star Wars puzzle. Some crafts, oh, that's cool. Made in China. Yeah, what about this um, dolphin? Oh, that's cool. It'd be a dollar fifty. I mean, what is it for? Is that all you do with it? <laughs> all right, I'm done playing with it. Uh, some jewelry. Oh, wow, it's empty. Usually this is filled. Oh, look at those. That's pretty. $30. It's cloisonné. Is that cloisonné? No, I don't think so. The sterling silver. All right, so I was looking through some of the bangles and I did the rub test on this. This is Bakelite. It's a little bit different. It has like a green swirl, like a slag. So I'm going to get that. Oh, they're $4. I'll spend four on it. That one. Let's see about that. No. This one is made in India, so it has like a brass overlay. Not sure about that. I did the test on it. It doesn't smell. All right, I just want to see if this vase glows. If there's uranium in it. No, I don't think so. Okay, I had a check. <laughs> All right, another one I got a check. No, that one doesn't, doesn't glow. I do kind of like them. There's three, four different, five different colors. Found this vintage spatula. It's kind of cool. It has like a mid-century design. It's marked Japan. That should be pretty easy to clean up. I like the design on the spatula part. I don't know what part you would call that. But I'm going to get it. It's, it'll be 25 cents. So I feel like I could get like 8 to $10. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Look at a hand vacuum. I haven't seen one of these in years. How much are they? Or is it? I don't see a price. Um, so whenever I come over here, I'm looking for ink printer ink um usually when i find them they sell pretty fast 
Usually the thrift stores are selling them cheap. See any here? Ow. Bad. <laughs> Alright, I'm trying to figure out what this is. Oh, it's a wine opener. Okay. I don't know, usually when I drink wine, I just break the bottle open and drink right out of it. <laughs> Not even a glass. I'm just kidding. Um, furniture. Oh, look at the sleigh. Ooh, that'd be 25. I mean, I could do that in the booth, but I don't got room in my car. <laughs> All right, my total spend was $28. On my way out, they had a free box and I found a cat. <laughs> of course I'm gonna find a cat. Um, this is Boyd's Bear. Um, I don't think it has too much resale value, but I never seen a cat before. That's a cat, right? It's not a bear. <sighs> All right, well, that is it for now. Um, don't forget, I'm having a whatnot sale this Friday at nine o'clock. Um, I'm going to be doing the Glassy Baby, the Bittersweet. Um, I have a Swung Vase I'm going to be doing. Um, and a Fenton Burmese Basket. Alright, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see everybody next time. Bye! Okay, I'm going to show everybody some items for our Cat Rage show. Um, it will do a review of some of the items I got. Um, actually, let me start with the best one. This Viking Swung Vase. It's Amberina. Um, that should glow. You could see it. <laughs> I see it on the bottom. Um, so I got this on eBay. I believe for 20 something. I forget because I bought so much. Let me rub that off. So this had 40th anniversary in gold. Right here. And I soaked it in vinegar and I used acetone and got that off. But you can still see a little bit of an outline. You can see the 40th. But when you have it like that, you can't see it. So I'm still going to resell it. And I'll, of course, disclose that in the description. I'm going to list this for $40. $45. Only because it is a swung vase. And, I mean, look, you can already see the cadmium. Just from putting it over there. All right, next are the Hagen Reniker cats. Look how cute that is. You get the two small ones. Um, I actually have a Hagen Reniker um, book that we won at an auction, a whole bunch of research books. This one, the tail is broken, but I'm still going to sell the three together. And then this black one. That's pretty cute. Looks like he's um, begging for food. <laughs> he or she. And then these two. Um, follow that bug vintage. Mentioned that it might be the crazy calico cat. Crazy calico, which are worth a lot of money. But I don't think this one is. Because I did a little more research. They're Mark Japan. They either sprained their um, their foot or they broke their foot. <laughs> but it's Michael and me when we get a little crunchy. <laughs> um, more cat stuff is a Laurel Birch little bag. It's brand new. I'll be doing that. I don't know why there's hair on it. I always like Laurel Birch. And then these two alley cats. That's what I always call them. These are just hobbyists. Made by Deborah or Dira. Um, these are always cute to get. Look at the eyes and the eyelashes. Be doing those on the raid. Then this Lennox vase. This is probably something I could have left behind. A lot of people have it listed and the sold comps between five dollars to fifteen so i'm probably gonna list this for twelve dollars i'm gonna try to go like in between um and then oh this this is le smith glass uh candle holder um this pattern is pagoda if you ever find the 
fairy lamp that sells for some good money because we found one before at an auction. We got it for five dollars and I think it sold for over a hundred dollars. It was blue um, and that's what the top looks like. So look up Pagoda, Ellie Smith Pagoda fairy lamp. Um, this is not a perfume. <laughs> I think I said perfume in the video. It's not. But I love this. It's art glass. It does have like a vanilla smell. So it is used. But I think that looks pretty. You can have that on the windowsill. Um, oh, I don't want to break these. I can't believe I found Bakelite. I'm so glad. I watched someone's YouTube video. And they said to rub it and smell it. If it smells like ammonia or like a chemical, um, it's Bakelite. I, there's another way to test it. Um, use 409 cleaner. And if it rubs off yellow, I don't know, something with a chemical, it um, turns the cloth yellow. I say we go through some boxes of some items that we have listed for a while. Um, this is the Canada Pottery. Um, I can't remember the maker. CCC. Ceramic. Something. Canada. Ah. I can't remember. This, I think, is going to go in the booth. Unless anybody wants it. Um, I love the orange. The 1970s look. USA pottery. Um, might put that in the booth. We still have the fuse glass. Um, sit and Stricker or Peggy Carr Sit and Stricker. Um, the chilies. That'll be good for summer. Have this beautiful butterfly. Um, mark 1955. Um, we're starting, we're starting to pile up on stuff, so... Um, we've been getting offers on eBay and we've just been accepting it. Still making a profit, but... I just don't like clutter, so sometimes that bothers me. Ooh, Santa. I forgot about this. It has a chip. Made by Relp O. I thought that was cute. I got that for a dollar at the restore. I still have the walnut vase. That's pretty cool. It's hand carved. Um, and it's signed. So maybe I'll just lower the prices on some items. I think as long as you make a profit, it should be all right. All this. It's very Hollywood, 1960s. Um, I think we have this listed for 60. Maybe I'll lower it to 40. All right, we have a pottery heart made by Bennington Potters. Some of their stuff can sell well. Um, I probably could have left the blue heart behind. There's some porcelain. Ooh, jeez. Porcelain, I forget where I got that from. It's made in Germany. That's beautiful. I love the square bowls. So this is a lot of larger items. Um, some uranium glass. It comes with the bowl and the underplate. What are these? Is my cloth these listed? They're metal. Whoops. As I break it. And these are... The birds are plastic. Little um, wall hanging. That's pretty cool. Oh. Oh, that's a dart. Made in USA. So like 19... Six... I want to say early 70s. I'm going to leave these out and make sure they're listed. See what is on this shelf. This is the shelf that we want to get rid of because it's, um, with the heat, it starts to bend down. So we haven't been putting anything heavy. We have these salt and pepper shakers. These are kind of cool. I'm not sure who made them, but it feels like it's cut. Let me put those over there. I believe those are definitely listed. I remember seeing them. It's, um... Where is that made? I forget. 
Oh, it's hand painted. I think we got that the uh, urban restyle. We have the candlesticks. Those are pretty cool. This doll. There's a Lucite napkin holder. It has some beans in there and wheat. Some bags, beaded bags. Got this one is pretty. Um, this one, I believe, is made in Italy. Let me open it up. Made in Italy, yeah. Whoops. Yeah, it has metal and then a fabric. Type of fabric. Um, this one is... I had this for a while, so maybe... I think that's Saks Fifth Ave made in Italy, a hot pink bag. This one is awesome. I'm surprised it hasn't sold yet. I mean, I don't know if a lot of people like um, hot pink. This is the um, gum wrapper bat purse, purse bag. That's pretty cool. Oh, I'm doing this on whatnot. I'm doing that bag. Let me take it out. I'm doing two bags, a blue beaded one and that one. Some Boy Scout badges. Um, this teapot is Otagiri. Oh, more. Teapot is Otagiri. That's cute. It's a little, um, village house. Here's a uh, Marquise Waterford, um, bank baby bank. So that'd be good for a first baby gift. What are these? Austria. There's two. There's three of them. Just listed the Lucite trivet. It has a little chippy on the side, right? Not there. I forget where it is. Well, I just listed that, so I gotta put that away. Let's see what's in here. Oh, this is uh, Sarah Coventry. Coventry, I'm saying it right. <laughs> um, we have the apple brooch and then two earrings, but this one has, I remember, um, hot glue in there. I don't know why. See it? I don't know, to glue. I don't know, it's in the back, though. Um, here's some enamel clip-on flower earrings. Oh, they're not clip-on, they're screw back. I think it says made in Japan. These are cute. Maybe I'll take these out for whatnot. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay, and we have only two scarves left. We listed them on eBay. We sold one. Actually, so far, we sold two. Um, the scarfs that my mom made. Cute, perfect for autumn. Um, she just made a burgundy color one. So once I go over there Saturday, I'll be picking that up. Um, what about this? Oh, I forgot about these. Ride a cock horse to Banbury Cross. Made in Aust um, Made in England. I was trying to read it upside down. Yeah, England, Victoria. Um, you could get about 10 to $12 each dish. So I'm going to list the two together as $20. Um, I still got to list the guitar mug. Um, I already got pictures of it. I just got to list it. Oh, I didn't show everybody this. I lost that footage. Um, our pottery octopus handle mug. Look at the glaze on the inside. Kind of has like a Bill Campbell look. But look at the, look at the handle. It's awesome. So I think I'm going to list that for 15, 15 or $16 I think is a good price for that. Because it's different and unique. LC it's signed. So Bakelite bangle bracelets some of them can sell for hundreds of dollars if you find the ones with polka dots on them i think i saw one sold for like 
700 on eBay bidding. I had polka dots going around it. I'm like, what the heck? I didn't know they sell for that much or I would have kept looking. So for now on, I'm searching for big light, <laughs> especially the polka dots. This one I think sells for about um, $26. Um, it has a slag, marbleized, marble look to it. Green and black or yellow. Do it up close. <laughs> I think that is it for now. Um, don't forget, Friday at 9 o'clock, I'm having a whatnot sale. I'm doing the Glassy Baby. Um, I could always do the Viking Glass. I'm doing the Bittersweet. I have a whole box next to me, stuff that I'm doing. Um, you could go pre-bid if you would like. All right, I will see everybody next time. Bye.